Why dating a chick over age 27 sucks. Okay, so 27 years old seems to be the age when chicks start freaking out about their age. 25 and 26 still seems kind of young for a chick, but for some reason 27 seems so much older. I think it's because it's the age that's considered late 20s as opposed to mid 20s, like 25, 26. Also, 27 is the average age most females get married in the United States. Age 27.4 in America is the average female age of her first marriage. Oh, I love that, her first marriage. So once they hit that age, they start feeling the pressure to get married and have kids. And uh, also by the time a chick is age 27, they've already had double digit sex partners. I mean, most average 27 year old chicks have had well over 10 or 20 or 30 sex partners. I mean, for all we know, they could be in the hundreds. This puts a lot of sexual pressure on you if you're dating a chick over 27. Because, you see, if you're an average show in bed, your sexual performance gets compared to all the dudes she's already slept with. So basically, you have to out every bad boy she's ever banged in her lifetime. And if you give her relatively mediocre sex, she will drop your ass. You see, a 19 or 20 year old chick that's had like four sex partners is gonna think that average Joe's sex is pretty good. But a chick over age 27 who's had like over 25 partners already is gonna see that same average Joe's sex is bad. So why is this? It's because she's done a ton of bad boys already who've given her some pretty good orgasms. And if your average Joe's sex skills don't give her a pretty good orgasm like the bad boys, your ass gets pretty much kicked to the curb. And uh, most chicks in their 20s are also in college, whether it be junior college or university. And age 27 is the age when women start to feel like the older chick on campus. And this kind of sort of freaks them out. Even the eight year degree program should be completed by age 26. So if you date her, she's gonna be constantly complaining about how she's a loser for being in college still and how she's so old and not married with children. And you gotta sit through all those quarter-life crises. This is a big one too, but women's fertility takes a nosedive at age 30. So if the chick is 27 and a half, she's got like a little over two years to get that ball rolling. Just imagine how much that could freak a woman out. The one thing in life she was meant for, the healthy ability to have children, slowly starts to diminish at the age of 30. And this puts a ton of pressure on them. This definitely messes with their moods and their personality. Imagine your boss following you around in life with a ticking clock for two years of your life, constantly reminding you of a deadline. Though that's exactly what age 30 is to chicks, and it totally messes with their brains. And a chick over age 27 expects so much more from you. Uh, they expect you to be top of your class, to be in top shape, to already be the boss of the company you work at, to have a nice car, to be a homeowner, a stud in bed, to earn six figures already. And a chick north of 27 expects so much more from you. Because, you see, a 19-year-old or 20-year-old chick doesn't mind if you just have an apartment and you're working at Target. But a chick nearing 30, you gotta be way more on the ball than that. They already expect you to be damn near a CEO of a company. Because women over 27 need to get married quick, and the pressure is on them. Well, actually, correction, the pressure's on you.